What if I told you that the famous Backrooms Level Zero is not actually the first Backrooms level that you can get sent to if you fall out of reality? Well, today I'm going to be talking about another Backrooms level that can be accessed directly from the front rooms. And if you do access it, you'll be able to skip over 900 levels in the lore. The level in question is level 913, and without further ado, let me just jump right into the explanation, and I guess, rock your world. So when you make the accidental fall into the backrooms, you will obviously end up on backrooms level zero, the, the famous yellow wallpapered level. Now there is a very small chance that you might get sent to level one or to level two or even three if you're unlucky, but the odds are you're going to be falling into level zero. It just seems that the connection from the front rooms to level zero is the strongest. Now that was the fact until a few months ago when level 913 was discovered. This level has been given a class undetermined difficulty due to its really mysterious nature and the lack of information we have on it, to be honest only a few people have even been here, as well as the possibility of undocumented entities that are lurking around, and I'll touch on that later. The size of this level is impossible to determine due to its non-linear geometry as no ending has ever been found, which is a pretty common thing through the back rooms, nothing crazy. The level's nickname is actually the Endless White, and that's because, for as far as the eye can see, it's just white rooms and halls and staircases. When you noclip into this white abyss, you'll find yourself laying on your back, staring up at the ceiling. You'll hear a faint hum buzz from around the lights, and you'll hear this flickering, staticky noise. If you put your ear to the ground somewhere on this level, you'll actually hear that flickering noise through the ground. It sounds like it's coming from an old TV, but it's coming from underneath you. Standing up and scanning your surroundings, you'll see just how barren and empty the level actually is. It's, it's a white hell. It's dull whiteness as far as the eyes can see. Now, wanderers who have actually been here say they hear their own echoes reverberating through the hallways, even if they barely make noise. You can just whisper or barely drag your feet, and you're going to hear it echoing and being distorted off the walls. Other noises can sometimes be heard too when you get deeper into this level, like strange laughing and giggling and creatures scurrying between rooms. And I'll get into all that later. Your ears are not playing tricks on you. Yeah, something's actually there. <laughs> we just don't know what it is. So I can't tell you. The walls in pretty much all of the level is this glossy, dull white color, which could probably cause you to lose your mind since there's no other colorations around. The level also has several different explorable areas. Those being the hallways, the bedrooms, the living rooms, and the open huge rooms. Inside of these different areas is furniture that corresponds with it. Like living rooms will have couches and tables, and bedrooms will have beds, obviously. You get the point. All of the stuff everywhere is white. If you run into a window or an open door in the level, you might notice that behind it is a pitch black void. It's only just blackness and random specks of light. Now, you might think that the level takes place inside of the void level because of that, but I think you'd be wrong. I think that's not the case. Because some wanderers have reported looking out into that void and seeing some kind of strange blue-white light in the distance, and the light actually copies the movement of anyone that's looking out at it. So if you shake your head, it'll shake back and forth. The light will gradually get brighter and brighter over time, and the longer you stare at it, the brighter it'll get. If you stare at it for a really long time, the ball will become a dark red color, and then it'll vanish, and then appear randomly in a different window, almost like it's stalking you. We have no idea what this is, why it happens, or what it even could be, but it gives everyone who encounters it this really unnerving feeling, like you're being spied on somehow. You pretty much are, I guess, but... Now, in the larger rooms of this level, you'll find white concrete pillars arranged in straight lines as far as the eye can see. Walking in between these pillars can cause a weird effect to happen that I've never really heard of, but it's pretty cool. If you close your eyes or blink for longer than a couple seconds while walking in between the pillars, when you open your eyes, you'll be in a different position off in the distance. So think of an Enderman from Minecraft teleporting around. That's 
pretty much what you're doing in this level. It's pretty neat. And sometimes you can do this and you no clip out of the level as well, which could be pretty useful. If you look up to the ceiling again, you'll hear that buzzing noise again. And at the beginning, I said it was from the actual lights, but it's not actually from the lights. No, it's, it's something a little bit worse. Of course, it's worse. It's always worse. The buzz is from these black bugs that are flying up toward the lights and trying to get to it. There's literally hundreds of thousands of these bugs around these lights, and they're buzzing and flapping and bumping into them. They do this until the heat from the lights literally fries them, and they just drop on the floor by you. The noise of the bugs brings this very unsettling ambience to the level. I mean, you thought it was the hum buzz of the lights. It's actually bugs unaliving themselves. Pretty weird. If you're walking down these white hallways and you run into a random wooden door in the wall, you open it up, you might be able to see a place that you've been to in this level before, like an exact copy of maybe where you started or where you were. You can walk in the room and then you'll be right back where that was, and effects like this are the ones that make people extremely disoriented and honestly they induce paranoia in a lot of people who come here. It's really trippy to open a door and see a place you just were. And that's where the non-linear geometry really just messes with your mind. Unless you're me, it wouldn't do it with me. But if you couple that weird effect with the white coloring, the buzzing of the bugs, the random light outside shining on you, and also the weird distorted noises, you're gonna go pretty crazy. And speaking of those noises, the longer you walk through the hallways here, the stranger the noises get. Now, I mentioned earlier, those noises could be like giggling or scurrying or laughing or something like that. But eventually you'll get so deep that you'll start to hear these noises behind doors in this level. And these doors are like really scary to people because they don't want to open them and see what's back there. The level essentially drives you insane because of just how isolating and just weird it is. It's said that some people have walked so deep into this level and found a door that's like blocked off and shut. And that's where they've heard these weird distorted noises from behind it. Right as they heard these noises, the lights above them in the ceiling went completely off. They, they just shut off, went completely black. And the light outside that watches you through the windows will get really bright then poof, the person that just witnessed that is gone. Now, the outcome of these weird anomalies is unknown. We have no idea where the person goes. We have no idea what's making the noise. We have no idea what the weird light is, but all we know is it's just strange, man. Now, the entrance to the level is where the things start to get weirder somehow, because wanderers, like I said, can enter from the front rooms by just walking into any room and, and opening a door to get there. The way this works is that every person on this planet has a small chance to open a door and everything in that room will be completely white. If they make the step into that room, they will be sent to this level where they'll wake up on the floor staring at the ceiling. Now, this is pretty horrifying because it could happen to anybody completely randomly. There's no way to calculate it or why it happens, but you could just be going to school. You could open up your bathroom door and step inside without realizing it. And bam, you know, you're 913 levels deep in the back rooms. Pretty horrifying to me. But there's no reasoning or explanation for it, and there's no way that we can tell why it's connected to reality. Some people think it's some sort of middle ground between the Earth and the back rooms, or it's like a purgatory area that people go to that slip out of the cracks of reality. We don't know! But if you do want to escape this level, then you need to close your eyes, like I said earlier, and walk between those pillars, and that'll give you a chance to no-clip out. The only problem is, we have no idea where it's gonna take you if you leave. But yeah, let me know if you enjoyed this level. I think it's so cool that there's a level like this that is connected to reality that's not level zero. I mean, that's pretty neat. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching till the end. Love and appreciate you all. Uh, check all the links below if you want my other channels. Mm, all that self-promoting stuff. I don't, I don't really like doing that, but, but it's down there if you want it. Thank you all so much for everything, and I'll see you in the next video on the channel.